Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. <laughs> that was a weird line to come into, but hello everyone, and welcome back to more I the Somnium Files. Last time, we found Iris dead once again at the cold storage warehouse, and we figured out that So was not only at the warehouse because we saw him there, uh, but he was also the one who called Shoko um, right after she died, I guess. So now we are syncing with him because he did it, or at least we believe so. I believe so. <laughs> so here we go. No, I only pressed the wrong pedal. What the heck? <laughs> did you see that? There's just like a piece of fence <laughs> that went across the background. That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. I like the bubbles. Don't change the subject. Are we going to be outside in this one? Observe the surroundings. Oh, well, I guess that answers that. <laughs> huh. In a word, I'd say it's... Why is Iris strange. there? <laughs> Can we talk to her? Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. Why is she there? It's Iris. <laughs> what on earth is she doing here? Why is she in everyone's mind? Also, she needs to get longer shorts or whatever she's wearing. <laughs> Iris! Why did Iba gasp? We can't go any closer? We cannot. That silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. During a sink. We experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. If this is supposed to be, like, what happened, is this also supposed to be where it happened? Because if so, that means there would be evidence around the warehouse. What's is it going just going to keep showing that? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? Hey, it's not, um... Mayumi? Ota's mom's knife this time. It's just I a regular knife. I don't want to watch knife. it either. Well then... I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Can you question people? I mean, I guess there hasn't really been other people. I mean, there was Ota and his mom and hers, but... Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes, we have to save Iris, no matter what. She's already dead. Yeah. But to do that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Why? Is it the thing radiating the barrier? <laughs> Somnium scan, activate! Big box. Where are we going? <laughs> the whip of the head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? Why are they doing such drastic camera movements? <laughs> Turn away if you get motion sick. I'm very late on saying that. That was the last one. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can turn back now if you got motion sick. <laughs> oh my god, the stab sounds in the background. Sinking in the villain. Okay, help Iris escape. If Iris escapes, you may discover so secret. Will we? Will we? Oh, is this just a straight line one? Interesting. Okay. Feels like it's been a while since I've done this, but I don't think it has. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What do we, oh. There's the forklift. A large box. Warehouse door G, H, and I. And what is it telling us? Make an escape path. So maybe we need the forklift? That would be my assumption? A forklift. Do I drive it? <laughs> what would kicking it do? I'll... I'll drive it. <laughs> Roger that. Leave it to me. Although we already saw it her driving skills. The drift king. I don't know why. I thought that this would be a good idea. I hope it works, Didn't you but... Didn't crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front-wheel drive. Okay, okay. We're moving a thing. We're gonna go into the water. Bye. We just eliminated the forklift, so I guess it was not the forklift. <laughs> Unless it appears again. There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? Oh, uh, it works. <laughs> okay. Portal A. So there's going to be multiple portals? Um Sure. A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. Uh Throw pebble, put your hand in. Scream. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna throw a pebble because I have this death skull thing. Oh, okay. It appears to be connected to that place. So, and it makes things bigger as well. That sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. So we can jump through and become huge. <laughs> Um, what were the other options? A portal. Put your hand in, scream. Oh, can we reach in and pick up the box, maybe? I'll try it. Here? Yeah. My hand. Although, if we threw the pebble in, we probably can't pick up the box. We could pick up the pebble again. Could we knock over the yeah, box? Yeah, can do move it. it. I suppose if I must... How are you leaning on it? What the heck? How does the physics of this portal work? Oh, okay, well, she did what I wanted regardless. Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. Hello, Iris. Where are you going? Escaping? Death again? So I assume we're gonna have to make uh, another portal do the same thing, but with boxes multiple boxes. <laughs> Why is there so many boxes? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. Can we? Move large box. Um. Oof, oof. Then I need to move so that I can, like, actually look around. Uh, did anything else open up? We have more warehouse doors. Concrete fragments? What would those do? 
Do I just need to try the different doors? Or would it be the one thing that is different? <laughs> the one thing that's different is quite far away. So maybe I try a door first, just to see what the options a are. Warehouse door. Listen? Um... They at least don't cost a lot, so that's good. Um... What would listening do? I'll knock? Is anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. Okay. Try the other option. I will listen. I hear the sound of dripping liquid. Occasionally a spraying or squirting sound. By liquid, do you mean blood? Unknown, but it is unnerving okay so we've checked h uh i might as well check this door while i'm walking over to the fragments a warehouse door do i think these will yield any different results <laughs> i hear laughter but they're far away I cannot tell who the voice belongs to. Okay. Well, that was different. Let me... Oh my gosh. Let me see what these have. Pieces of concrete. Uh... If I kick, will it somehow manage to hit the... Thing? The crane? <laughs> um... Let me use this and kick. <laughs> Ow. Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it. You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. All right, not that. <laughs> Pieces of concrete. Let's investigate. It is the same material that makes up the ground. Though, I am unsure why it fell from the sky earlier. Oh. So things that go through that portal come out supersize. Got it. Wait, do we have access to that portal again? Still? No. I don't think I knocked. A warehouse door. Uh, knock. Is anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. Okay, maybe knocking does nothing, because so far it's done nothing. Try the other doors. A warehouse door. I will listen. Should I be using more of these? I probably should be, but you know. These only take 10 seconds. I hear a dull impact at regular intervals. Actually, wait, is that door like open? Plunging <laughs> into meat. Four minutes. All right, well. <laughs> a door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Go in or peek inside. Um, I can make it be one second. Let's do two seconds. Peek inside. Why does peek sound so perverted? Isn't that perfectly normal to say in this situation? You sound like the kind of man who uses the word trim unironically. That isn't important right now. What does that even mean? So I was right. No. Just look, please. Well, if you really want me to. Oh my. What is it? Did you see something dirty? Shut up, pervert. 
Don't you see what she sees? What was that supposed to do for me? Can I put something through here? I guess we walk through, right? A door to the warehouse. I cannot. Uh, go in. And then we died. <laughs> huh? That door should have led to the warehouse. Okay. And now what do we have over here? Oh my god, there's so many things. Okay, there's a control panel, which sounds like what we need. Can I, like... Of course not, I gotta go through the list. Wait, what's... Oh, it's another warehouse door? Okay. Let's go to the control panel. Because we want to move the crane. Is this some kind of control panel? Although I wouldn't imagine this controls the crane, but this is like a dream. <laughs> Input fighting game combo. Raise lever, lower lever. Okay, well I can make that one cost only 12 seconds, so I'm gonna do that. The one that is difficult for humans to input? Yeah, the GH raging combo. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this... I think you can do it. I'll try. Hey! It worked! <laughs> I would have said oh, moved. the combo that everyone says, but I don't remember it. <laughs> Ring out! That's a KO! She's gonna run and then she's gonna hit another. Oh my god, what is this like face cam thing? She's gonna hit another obstacle. Oh no, the barrels. And then stab. If only she could fit through that gap. Or if only there weren't barrels there, you mean? Remove the boxes. Okay. What else we got? Anything else different? Uh, we have access to the crane now. The box near the crane different doors those ones we've already looked at I don't know let me look I haven't looked at what that one is it looks like another of the doors so I'm just gonna go through Paxman. a warehouse door oh my god it takes time every time I want to go in here okay. delivery Okay. Three minutes, Date. Uh, the crane and the box near the crane. I could operate the crane, but let me see what this has. Hello. Hello. Video game. Okay. A wooden box hanging from a crane. Punch or push? I could punch it to get that one eighth thing. That kills me times three. I'm I'm gonna punch it. Uh, it won't even budge. I'm gonna assume that pushing doesn't work either. <laughs> crane. A crane. Uh throw something, tackle, ride. Why do all of these kill me? Um I'll ride it though. <laughs> not that I am against it, but Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. There's literally a little ladder there, but it leads to like nothing. 
Why did it? A crane. Throw something? What? What am I gonna throw? I'm gonna run How out of time. How about this stone? Wow. I did it, but nothing happened. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> A crane. Ugh. I don't think tackling will do anything either, but like there's nothing I don't think there's anything else really left. Is this door different? A warehouse door. It's like kind of open. Okay. Uh, I need to like be strategic. What's this? Something came out. A portal to. Oh my god. <laughs> the guy coming out and stabbing her scared me. Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Why are you talking Nobody about? Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Oh. Okay. It made her sm- Okay, of course. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Why would I think anything otherwise? Oh, now she's gonna be trapped by the box. So maybe I, me exhausting those other options helped. Is the box hanging from the crane in the way now? Was there something under the wooden box? What? Let's just go back and lift it up for now. How do we lift it? I don't like the camera in this one. It keeps getting caught on stuff. Would going through that portal help me? Would me being small help? What is this? It looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. I can only peek inside, but why? What does that accomplish? I'm doing it anyways, because you never know, but... I don't want to use the one ninth thing, because... Oh! I got smaller! Uh-huh. If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. I just ignore Dante now. Can I do this anything is else? What is the point? <laughs> Um, can I do anything different with the box? You have one minute left. A wooden box hanging from a crane. I can only put, okay, well, let me, because I get another one ninth thing. So let me try pushing first before I go back to the crane. No use. It is either stuck to the ground or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. Or your instructions are bad. Or you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. Watch it be that I have to like go through a portal to get to that other door because the other door is somehow different or something. Actually, that looks different. A warehouse door. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to the crane first. <laughs> There was a door above it, so I thought a that crane. might be it, but um, let's 
gonna do nothing. There is no point doing this if we are going to. <laughs> do I knock or listen to that one? Do I go through that portal again? Is the other warehouse door different? A warehouse door. Uh. Okay, well, none of these time things help. I'll listen. I hear deep, excited breathing. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? Shut up. Uh, okay. Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. I know. I know. I'm gonna die, but... A warehouse door. Delivery! Oh, I had to press a button. <laughs> This makes complete sense that it changed where I would go. Okay. Is this some kind of control panel? Do I input the fighting combo again? I mean, I'm gonna do it. I only have 21 seconds left. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it won't budge. Uh, oh. Got it. Well, if that wasn't it. Uh, I'm gonna die. It's a control panel. Let's raise the lever or lower the lever, but whatever I do, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, we want it to be raised, so maybe we raise the lever. Understood. Yeah. Is there something underneath it? If you die right at the end. Does it count? <laughs> Does it count? Is she gonna fall into the portal? Yeah. <laughs> Where is she going? Into the sea. God. <laughs> Where are you going? We need to talk to you. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow must be. Did it count? Do we still have to do it all over again? Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> cool. Good. I was worried I would have to start all over again. <laughs> Do the entire thing over again. Someday. Did that really tell us anything, though? Iris was in the Somnium earlier. I mean, I guess it did, yes. <laughs> but also, Iris was in Mizuki's Somnium too, <laughs> so... Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Aiba... Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True, he could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. Why would we release you, though? Pewter! Uh, I don't need to know about how sinking works. About the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain oh. persons or objects that appear in Somnium. This might all be stuff we know. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. 
I told you earlier that the Sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves, like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you is an ability many charismatic people share. What? <laughs> uh, oh, we can ask again. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. Why did it look like their head was kind of concave on the top? Um, what is the ego algorithm? Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Tell me more. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. Continue. <laughs> All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Okay. I don't think I want to know how sinking works. I feel like I already know that. <laughs> Hello. Um. About the Somnium earlier. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one and the same, it's... Like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. I'm sorry. Uh, did the crime scene investigation team report anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but... That warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. I know. Iva, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? It is certain. Uh, can we get an arrest warrant? Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Also, what we found in Somnium isn't necessarily indicative of anything, like, incriminating specifically to so. I mean, it's suspicious that he has that in his brain, but... Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. I feel like we have a different evidence that more solidly points to it being him. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Wait your turn. Oh, sorry. So... Uh, why did you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. 
Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Okay. What's your alibi for that murder? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. They're like family to him? Paid family. Um, <laughs> about Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You killed Iris, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. From who? <laughs> what? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Why would she... Sp did we say that she was specifically stabbed? I don't remember. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I... don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Why would you do that, though? <laughs> Boss. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. No, he still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? It's suspicious if he was- like, why would he be in there? <laughs> he looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet, makes him a bit dozed. Oh. The color's drained from his face. Do we have to listen to Pewter? Okay. Uh. During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind, or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. This is just like that. Okay. Hello, who's calling Date. me? Date, the investigation team is calling. Oh. This is Date from Abyss. What happened? Is it our friend? Hey, sorry to call you out of the oh. blue. It's not. It's just policeman. There's something we want to check. Now a good time. Sure, what is it? Can anyone else hear them on the phone? Because maybe it's not a good idea to be talking about stuff in front of the person you think did it. You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The one at Is it gone? Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? Uh, I no. knew it. <laughs> See, you stay there and preserve the scene. Why did he need to drive away? There's literally no reason that he needed to do that. He could have just gotten his car, put his eye in the steering wheel, let it charge, make the call, go back in the warehouse. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. <sighs> Uh, 
the warehouse <laughs> that we abandoned. What do you mean there's no body? As in, look at this table. Yeah, we it is empty. But nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Oh, now I was going to be like, I wasn't there, so maybe you didn't see anything. Yes, I'm sure. Is she going to actually be alive? If so, that's wild. <laughs> I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. No, there's another possibility. Are you going to say she wasn't dead? There is? Because she had a lot of stab wounds. And she was frozen. What is happening? Sagan Residence. Is she just gonna be here? She's just gonna be here. D Date? Iris. Something's up. What are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Why are you here too? Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. You didn't ask? Um, something wrong? The world... changed. Okay, there's two. There's two of them. There has to be two of them. <laughs> Do you have a twin? What's happening? Something's up. Something's... something's happening. I couldn't tell you what, but something's happening. <laughs> Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. Yeah. Someone died. But I guess it wasn't Iris. It was a different... Iris? She wasn't <laughs> killed. True, but that was only a dream. But why would there be... Dr what? Why would there specifically be a dream about her dying? Okay. Maybe the dream changed reality. I hope that's not the case. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. They're gonna explain it by saying, um, Dante, are you sure you saw that? Do you maybe need to take a break? I'm in Iba's line of sight. Oh, I can't even talk to myself. I guess things are so serious that we just, like, can't. Oh, hold on. I gotta talk to this guy. If False friend Mario. Down from the sky. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Who do I talk to first? I'll talk to boss. Uh, about so. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okiura Fishery, but he didn't inform Oops. us of this. Last night. <laughs> this is what we missed. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. Her legs just went through themselves. Anyway. So was an iris's somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but socks with heels? Is that okay? Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew iris. Where is he? I sent him home yesterday. You released him? Well, yeah, you can't hold someone unless you're able to, like charge them with something. What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. 
What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. About prophetic dreams. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. Oh, I thought she was gonna say we found <laughs> the corpse, like, two days ago. Like, the actual one in the warehouse. I was like, that was two days ago? <laughs> it must have been a prophecy. Or something's up. What's happening? Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities. Change. What? Not having beliefs is what she believes in. That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department. Because she believed what she wanted to. I mean, that's... I don't, that doesn't sound like a good quality to have. As, anyway. Uh, a dream changing reality. Isn't this the same? Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. Oh, no, it is different. And that changed the history of the real world? No. Why is this what you leap to instead of, could I have been seeing things? What happened? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't. Anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. All right, what do you think, Iba? That's a desk. <laughs> what? Uh, about Renju. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mm -hmm. Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. There are three possibilities. One. Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju, where did you go? Where is he? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. Right. Why doesn't she have arms? <laughs> I asked Moma for information too. But I had to promise him a meeting with Iris. Moma can wait for now. <laughs> I don't want to have to Iris's arrange a meeting. Well. Uh -huh. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. Uh, about Okiura Fishery? I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. I mean, you can't say it has nothing to do with him when it used to be run by someone in his family, but I understand what you're saying. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. Uh, more? I would suggest searching the warehouse again. Yes, to see if there's any signs of anything. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. A dream-changing reality. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. 
An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? I don't know. Let's test it. <laughs> if you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? And say what? I saw you dead? Like, why do that to someone? <laughs> what the heck? Where is Iris now? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Summary, please. There are four people I should talk to. Sosajima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. All right. Looks like next time we're going to be investigating more places. Trying to find out more. I don't know what to think. Right now my assumption is that there has to be another iris somehow. Because I don't think that Date hallucinated that. So we still don't know why So was like at that warehouse. It just seems weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out more next time. Uh, until then, uh, take care everybody and goodbye.